standing here today with Bill Parks, a longtime Red Cross volunteer. And Bill is out uh, with a Red Cross eServe, a vehicle that will be used uh, to help clients following disaster, presumably during the 2010 hurricane season. Uh, Bill, what is this vehicle used for, and, and what is your role as a Red Cross volunteer? Okay, well, Reuben, this is the emergency communication response vehicle, and this is used to bring uh, data and network connectivity to a remote uh, disaster relief operation to ensure that the Red Cross can serve all our uh, clients with uh, speed and accuracy. So basically, you ha if you have unreliable or uh, if the telephone service is non-existent, then this, uh, this vehicle can help you to facilitate that. That's correct. We go up on the satellite and bring down, uh, like I say, network connectivity for data and internet usage and uh, for also a wireless internet protocol uh, telephone call. Excellent. Do you mind taking us on a quick tour uh, of the vehicle? To okay. So Let's do that. Okay. Now with the full tank of diesel, we can, you know, run the onboard generator and, uh, you know, theoretically last for about 40 hours before we have to refuel. I see. So which is critical in the first stages of a disaster. So let's come on up here. Okay. And uh, right now we're on shore power. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we have a, a lot of equipment bays. We have a, a laptop server. We have a wireless IP telephone, uh, a power panel. We have radios so that we can interact with all different public service and federal agencies. Gotcha. On the satellite controls, amateur radio, which is real important in the first few days of a disaster relief operation. Sure. And, uh, you know, this, this is our, uh, you know, little control center you know, where we, you know, make it happen. So have you, when is the last time you used this vehicle and uh, uh, what's its overall value to the organization? And when I say that, I mean, you, you just mentioned that immediately following disaster, a lot of the services are out. What does this, this vehicle mean to the communities that are affected by disaster? It means that the Red Cross can come into a disaster zone with our feet on the ground and get aid to the communities, the clients, the people that need it. Uh, the last time, you know, it was used was, uh, oh, there's Texas floods, there's West Virginia coal mine disaster. Uh, I mean, there's several places it's been used, and with an upcoming, upcoming <laughs> hurricane, uh, you know, we, the potential exists for, uh, you know, a, the definite need to more permanent, you know, communication and data arrangements can be made. I see. We've heard that we could have a fairly active hurricane season. I think most of the prognosticators are, are predicting somewhere around 20 hurricanes. Are you and the team ready for those storms, we, ready to respond? We are ready, and we're training all the time to uh, try and be ready for those, uh, keeping the equipment up and maintained and updated is only part of it. But, uh, you know, uh, we're hoping. But hurricanes are not the only disasters out there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they're just one of the biggest and more, uh, you know, thoroughly documented than other disasters. I see. I see. Well, well, Bill, on behalf of Red Cross volunteers uh, throughout this great country and, of course, the staff here at the Metro Atlanta chapter, I want to thank you for what you do for the Red Cross. Uh, and here's to a not-so-active hurricane well, season. thank you. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, Ruben. Thank you, sir.